Welcome to Electron Online, and our next topic here in projectile motion is finding the height of the projectile, and we're going to do it in a general approach. So here we're simply shooting out a projectile at an angle theta with an initial velocity v sub naught. How high will it go? So for that, I'm going to use, well, first of all, before I even do that, let's find the x and y components of this velocity. So v initial in the x direction is equal to v initial times the cosine of theta, and v initial in the y direction equals v initial times the sine of theta. So now we need to think about an approach and what I can see here is that when the projectile reaches its highest height, its maximum height, the velocity in the y direction will be momentarily zero. And since I don't know the time, I'm going to try and use this equation right here. v initial squared, or v final squared, and of course it would be in the y direction, equals v initial in the y direction squared plus 2 times acceleration, which in this case is g, the acceleration due to gravity, times the change in the height. And notice since we start from zero height and then we reach a maximum height, the change in, in y is simply going to be h, the height. The final velocity is going to be up here, so we'll call this v sub y final. Of course it's not the final, the projectile keeps going, but for doing the problem, we'll assume this to be the final position right here, and at that point, the velocity in the y direction will be zero. So plugging that in here, we get zero equals the initial velocity in the y direction squared. Of course, that would be this right here. That would be v initial times the sine of theta quantity squared plus two times g, which is, uh, we'll just leave it as g, uh, times the change in y, which would be the height h. And then we simply have to solve that equation for h, we can do that by bringing this over here. So we can say that uh, minus 2gh is equal to v initial squared times the sine squared of theta, just distributing the square here on both of these numbers. And uh, so now we solve this for h. So we have h is equal to v initial squared times the sine squared of theta divided by the minus 2g. Now you say, well, I have this minus again here, that's kind of bothersome, but then I realize that g really is a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. So we can simplify that equation by simply getting rid of the minus and thinking of g as a positive number, just the magnitude of g. And so we can write this as the height, and that would be then, of course, the maximum height is equal to v initial squared times the sine squared of theta divided by 2g. There we go. And of course, remembering that g is a positive quantity, like that. And that's how we find the maximum height of any projectile. Uh, now, think about it. Uh, what will determine the maximum height? Well, we can reach the maximum height when this quantity right here reaches its greatest value. Notice the v sub naught is whatever it is, whatever the velocity is of the projectile. But this can change depending upon what angle I use. Now, of course, if I use a zero angle, sine of zero, zero, I get zero height. If I get, give a 90 degree angle, straight up, and of course, um, hmm, that would be the maximum height, wouldn't it? So it looks like we can gain the maximum height by making theta the largest value. So the greater the value of the angle, the larger the height will be in my projectile motion. So you can think of it like this. If the projectile motion is like this, you reach this height. If I shoot at a higher angle, it may not go as far, but it will go higher. If I shoot it up like this, it will go higher again. And finally, if I shoot it straight up and I'm straight back down, it will reach its maximum height. So notice that Yes, it will go higher and higher if this angle approaches 90 degrees, but of course in the end it will go straight up and down and you don't really gain any range. But at no matter what the angle is, the maximum height will always be found by using this equation right here. And that's how you find the height in a general approach.